Hey guys, it's Bear. It is Thursday, April 5th, 2018, and it has been a very long time since I did my last video, which ironically was entitled I'm Back, and was me talking about having taken about six months off of doing videos and how I was going to get back to doing regular videos. Um, long story short, right after that video, um, I moved into a situation that I thought was going to be a solution. Um, I was moving away from, like, my ex, um, and I thought that it was going to be a really good move, and it turned out to be kind of a nightmare, and it was a really, really difficult situation. Um, so for about five months, um, I was just really, really unhappy. Um, and then in January, my laptop got hacked, and I completely lost, like, internet function. Um, long story short, I couldn't get into my YouTube channel, and I, I couldn't post videos. So uh, I'm in a bit better situation now. I'm, I'm living um, in a different place, and everything has, has you know, normalized for me. Um, but there was a period where I, I didn't want to do videos because things were really hectic, and then I couldn't do videos because I lost the capability of doing so. So I'm back. I'm going to try to get back into doing regular videos. Uh, not so much updates because I feel like my transition is complete, um, but I want to talk about a lot of subjects. So, you know, I, I want to get back into doing regular videos maybe like every other week or so. So, that being said, because I've been away for so long, um, I want to give you an update first and then next time I'll move into some topics. So, uh, I have been on T for like just shy of three and a half years and I had some issues in the beginning um, with my not my testosterone levels but more my estrogen levels where they were they were fluctuating a lot um, my estrogen was way too high um, and we tried a lot of different things as far as like adjusting my dose because extra T can convert to estrogen um, and then I went on blockers for about six months and that really didn't work the blockers actually my, my estrogen continued to rise to the point that like I was dealing with a lot of things as far as like my cycle and emotions and stuff like that and I went off of the blockers and continuing continued working with my doctor to adjust my dose and um, everything has has pretty much stabilized and that that was actually about you know maybe like within six months to a year of starting tea everything kind of just got in line and stabilized. So I've been on the same dose and my, my levels have been stable since then. So about two and a half years to a little bit more that everything's been cool. So that's good. Um, everything as far as like, you know, my cycle uh, has has stopped. Everything as far as physical changes has, has completed. You know, they say it's going to take between six months and two years and, and that's pretty much right on. My changes happened really early on, so I bulked up, I developed a lot of like upper body strength, my fat patterns changed, you know, and I got more of that like V shape. I'm really stocky, um, so I, I don't have a like a perfect V, I still have, you know, kind of like some love handles, which I think is not really going to go away unless I really work at that area, um, and that's that's fine, you know, I'm, I'm really happy with like being stocky and being short. Um, everything else, you know, my, my voice dropped really early on and and everything else as far as changes, uh, the only thing I can expect anything more to happen would be like body hair and facial hair. My body hair does continue to come in um, or has continued to come in. Like I'm, I'm developing some chest hair right above my incisions. My belly hair is kind of spreading so maybe one day I'll have like proper chest hair. That would be really cool. Um, but you know, like as far as facial hair goes, mine is really sparse. Uh, but I'm happy with what I've landed with. Like a lot of a lot of trans guys get like that chin strap deal, and then it takes a really long time for this to fill in. I got the opposite, and I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I I really dig like the mustache mustache soul patch kind of look. Um, I do have some scruff under the chin, and not a lot right here, not a lot, nothing actually right here. I wish that would fill in a little bit, but as, as for what I've got going right now, I think the look works for me, and so that's fine. You know, 
so moving forward, yeah, it looks like my face is going to continue to fill in. I do have some patchy hairs here and along the, um, like, sideburn. So maybe one day, like, I'll be able to grow a beard. Maybe not, but a lot of cis guys can't grow a beard, so whatever. You know, again, I, I am really happy that I, I was able to, to grow a mustache. Um, lately, I've been playing it, like, kind of styling it. Like, I've, I've trimmed out the top bit and tried to get more of a line. So that's fun. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, that's it as far as, like, physical changes from testosterone. You know, everything is pretty much done. I consider my transition to be complete. I don't really want to have uh, any further surgeries as far as, like, a hysterectomy or bottom surgery, and I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, the other update is, like, from my top surgery. Um, I'm coming up on three years post-op, um, double incision, and I'm really, really happy with my chest. Um, it looks great. It feels great. I don't have uh, any lack of, like, sensation around the area. And the pain that I had talked about early on in my left nipple is, is gone. That just faded over time. And it was probably, like, just nerve trauma or maybe the nerve's trying to reattach. Who knows? But um, that pain is gone. Um... As far as, like, sensation, my nipples do have sensation, and they do firm up, which is really cool because they're graphs, and they tell you not to expect that. They tell you that's, that's really not likely. So I lucked out as far as that goes. Um, and one of the really cool things is um, I'll actually get some prickling along this area when I'm uh, stimulated as far as, like, arousal or even, like, emotion like, you get that tingly, like, nipple hardening sensation, and I'll get that, like, right here. Uh, the guess is that there's just a little bit of, like, that erectile tissue left, um, because just past my incision is where, like, my nipples would have been. So, you know, again, that's kind of like an unexpected little thing that happened, and that's really pleasant. I'm, I'm glad that that happened. Um, as far as, like, my scars go, they're really, really light. I did a lot of aggressive post-op care as far as bio oil and massaging and stuff like that uh, for about six months, and then I stopped. And I haven't really done any other care except for, um, like, protecting the area from sunlight. Um, for about a year, I didn't go in the sun without a top, and then once I did start going out um, in the sunlight to the beach or whatever, um, I would use, like a lot of uh, sunscreen, so that helps to d stop the scars from getting like really dark. So they're really, really light, they're really smooth. Um, I have one little bit of keloid scar here and I have a dog ear on this side, but the dog ear is so small that I'm not going to pursue any kind of like correction or anything like that. There's a little bit of wrinkling right here because I had stretch marks um, from, you know, breast tissue. So the incision itself is smooth, but then there's this kind of like puckering of the skin from the stretch marks, and that causes a little bit of a discrepancy right here and here. And honestly, like, if that's all I'm going to deal with as far as, like, you know, um, un unhappiness with my chest, that's nothing. I'm super happy with it. I go, you know, without a shirt on, you know when appropriate, but, like, all the time. I'm really, really comfortable with, like, even strangers seeing it. If I'm at the gym or something like that, like, I walk around the locker room. Nobody's said anything. Nobody said, hey, man, what happened to your chest or anything like that. So, yeah, um, that's my updates as far as all that goes. Uh, like I said, I want to come back more regularly. I hope that people still have interest in the channel. I do have uh, like about 1500 subscribers and I know that some of you are friends that are that were following my progress and then alternately there's some people who are trans who hadn't started tea yet or were early on tea or stuff like that and so they were kind of following me to see maybe you know some advice or see what other people were going through so I want to get back into doing this you know for for you guys so hopefully uh, there's some interest in that. Um, I want to do some topic videos, though, because there's nothing really left to talk about as far as, like, my personal transition except for, like, my decisions not to have uh, a histo and stuff like that. Um, I'd also like to talk to you about the process of getting the IUD. Um, some other things like trans intimacy, relationships with a trans person, 
talking about coming out as far as like you know orientation and being trans um sexual identity and the way it, it fluctuated for me and the way, you know, the journey that I've been on as far as that goes. So I think there's a lot of things to talk about, which is why I wanted to get back into doing this. Um, we're at about 10 minutes for this video right now, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it off. Again, I'm going to try to keep stuff to shorter videos in the future, and I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.